All right. So uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Moon, and as well rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading February 10th to uh, February 16th. And in case uh, any of you guys is uh, interested into a uh, personal one, into a personal reading that is. Um, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, through which you can purchase such. And also in that very same description, uh, there will be a link to the other video of the week for you, Aries, which is business and career. Now, first card, which stands as a topic of your uh, love and relationship um, week, that is going to be the two of swords, followed by the energies which are feeding up the topic here. That is the energy of the um, Page of Pentacles. Then what we do have, it is uh, the uh, uh, challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. Furthermore, is going to be the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. Afterwards, it is uh, the standpoint that you are um taking here the position or in other words how people are taking on you what kind of an impression you are leaving into your partner into your husband or a wife into your suitor and so on and so forth that is to be the two of pentacles and the last one here it is the guidance the tarot is offering to you guys uh we have the eight of swords okay so um first two cards here very important so it does look like that uh, this week um outwardly at least is going to be quite quiet for you uh, that is because you are to sit on the verge of uh, taking a side if you will or making an, an important move or a, a decision now the energy is here of the um page of pentacles are pointing to many things okay they can they can unfold especially with the two of swords they can unfold in many different gazes now page of pentacles in relationship reading especially for those which are single uh, represents the 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 transformation of a, a friendship love into a, a romantic one so those energies are if you are single are transforming someone's friends uh, your friend's love from a, a friendship love into a, a romantic one and <clears throat> at that point the topic here is that you are not going to know what to do all right it's just you don't want to lose that friend but in the same time how things are to unfold if you jump into relationship so the the whole subject here of this week for you aries is to wait just so you can see which decision that you are to make in terms of moving forward with your relationship life is the most accurate one and if you wait long enough the uh, right choice that you have to make is going to become obvious to you now additionally to that those energies feeding up the situation are energies of where one wants to prove worthwhile to you okay so say that uh, your um, uh, your partner in relationship messed up really bad recently and now they are trying to make it up for it with those energies there these energies are going to force them to make up for it and you are gonna wait to see if they will be able to do it or if they won't be able to do it and therefore in either way the correct decision for you is going to become obvious what i mean here it is that instead of leaving yourself into the dilemmas and into the dramas of the situation you would prefer throughout this week it is quietly to wait around just so you can see what is the best move that you can do and the best thing about this situation guys is that you are not forced at all the more you wait the better decision you are going to take in terms of a loving relationship and especially true if you do have two people who are battling for you all right so if you wait long enough and you not force your decision one of them is definitely going to drop off the picture it's just they are going to walk away because they will start thinking that you are not worth in their while all right uh, and lastly with those cards those energies and the situation itself pushes you toward a, a direction of peace okay so whatever situation you are going to have in terms of love and relationship that is that situation is going to resolve itself in peace 
so challenges it is the next one that we have to take a look at and that is going to be the ten of swords now it's not much of a, a challenge that card only says that you have to do more uh, than usual in order to maintain an emotional connection okay with your current partner uh, especially if they're trying to make it up for the mistake they have done recently they need to see that there is uh, there is a reason why they have to do it now if they only face you as cold as eyes they may as well think that it is now over and they may stop doing what they want to do in order to make it up for their mistakes. So you have to maintain here an, an emotional connection because the challenge is that the relationship or the future relationship that you may have moving forward into the future, instead of being um, a relationship of warmth and emotional connection in between in between people it can transform into a relationship of a, a mutual responsibility it is like you are together just for the sake of it and uh, it's kind of like it is because you are attending to the promises you have gave to one another and that, that that is simply gluing the relationship but there is no emotions no feelings no passion nothing all right so that being said you have to do once again a a, a bit more than you have uh, than you have been expected in order to maintain one once again at the emotional um the emotional connection uh, in there and uh, especially if that's a friend of yours okay so friend of yours it's friendship love or her or his friendship love transforms into a, a romantic one and they don't want to see you as cold as eyes unless you want to lose them okay in either way so you have to show them also that you are feeling warmed toward them it doesn't have to be love just warmed toward them and another thing about the ten of wands it is a uh, strive for power okay and just because you are on a good position that does not give you the right to strive for power and to simply smother your partner or future suitor beneath your toe and simply um, humiliate them in any way you want that is a, a that is a, a temptation that you have to resist uh, if you will that could transform into vengeance once again your partner messed up uh, recently badly and they are trying to make it up for it and instead of showing them that it is uh, that from their side it's worth doing it because they can definitely revive the relationship you instead kind of like put a put a, a move to retribution of the, their old uh, mistake so next one it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship we do have the wheel of fortune and that card is equal either career or either relationship it just points that you can enjoy a numerous opportunities to make yourself happy one of those opportunities is going to be uh once in a life uh, an opportunity for once in a lifetime change as well very very helpful hopeful card for those who are single especially and definitely if the case for you it's a friend who transforms its emotions into a romantic one that card points that that is your gift i mean this is the opportunity you need in order to make yourself happy in relationship life this is the opportunity you need to um change your love life for better for good all right so do not miss those uh, those things those opportunities now um i want to backtrack a little bit into the uh into the energy so whatever of the energies here states that whatever actions people make towards you in in an attempt to get closer to you okay those actions are completely sincere and uh, the, these people were really devoting themselves into the idea and into the agenda to be with you in one or another way so don't uh punish or don't disregard that kind of a standpoint because it can go a long way i mean you too can go a long way but once again you should not give yourself that easily you first need to see that that person is worth your time because they think that you are worth in their time but you don't know if they worth your time though unless that's a friend of yours if it is a friend of yours that transforms once again their um love from fr from friendship into a romantic one definitely worth it and things are going to speed up 
a, a big time. Now, next one, it is how you are going to look into the eyes of people, what kind of an impression you are going to leave among the people around you. And that will be the uh, two of pentacles and people are going to see you changing. Okay, two of pentacles, it is like uh, whatever worked with you back in the days doesn't work anymore because you are letting go of concepts of standards of criteria as well that brought you so far all right and now so you want to move on forward with your love and relationship life those criteria concepts and uh, uh you know um uh, standpoints as well have to be replaced with new ones that are demanding more growth into your love and relationship life uh, Suffice to say, people are going to see you quite adaptable, quite agile, and someone who is willing to try, if you will, someone who is willing to experiment. And it's not go it's not a good standpoint though that you can take toward the person who messed up because how they take you with this card, it is that they're not your only option available. And that additionally is going to provoke them to do even better job into trying to make it up for their mistake back in the days and the last card that we do have for you Aries in terms of love and relationship here it is the eight of swords and oh my eight of swords here points that uh, well it's difficult to describe it so uh, it, it's like the uh, the difference in how you understand something and how that something is under is understand by other people what i mean here it is that something that is big deal for you it may not be as big deal to your suitor or to your boyfriend or a girlfriend to your husband or a wife all right or to your friend that is trying to be in a romantic relationship with you okay and uh, that's why communication needs to be the key here with the eight of swords now there are to be severe mismatches into that communication what i mean is that there are going to be disruptions in there you're trying to explain yourself and still your your point doesn't go across uh your partner tries to explain themselves to you their point doesn't go across or that could be as well your suitor so extra explanatory it is needed here be extra elaborative when it comes to explaining yourself and demand more um explanations as well when someone else is trying to explain themselves as well but the eight of swords stands for even a a bigger guidance guys that card and that is one of my favorite strophes in tarot that card stands for uh if the truth makes you free then what the denial of it makes you so if you love the fool who did something bad in the past well, you love them and you have to recognize that truth and you need to give them a chance to redeem themselves. If you don't, same thing. You don't have to stay in there just because you're feeling guilty of their fuck up, all right? And same thing in terms of friendship. Uh, if you see that there is a potential in between you and that friend of yours who wants to be intimate, allow them to do so. I mean, give, give yourself a chance. You have to recognize what is your truth and go by it. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly love and relationships are reading, guys, for February 10 to 16, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase one as well. You're going to find there a link to your business and career tarot reading for that very same week. That being said, see you all around. And until then, bye.